everybody, it's vacation time. It's vacation time. It's vacation time. We're about to leave to go to our little beach house and it's gonna be fun. So let's go guys. Okay, we made it to my parents' house. We're at my parents' house tonight. And then we're gonna go, we don't have the Airbnb till tomorrow. So it is vacation because I'm not at my house and we're like in a vacation town, which is my hometown, which is Santa Barbara. But the vacation, vacation starts tomorrow. So I'm gonna combine today with tomorrow. Cause tomorrow's the day where we're going to the cool beach house. But yeah, we're just taking it easy. Flynn's having a blast running around and playing. I am feeling really exhausted and kind of nauseous. It's weird going without the IVs, but I'm so grateful my arm has a break because I have all these like bruises on my arms from all the different, I bruise really, really easily. And every time I get my blood drawn or an IV, I get bruises. So I'm grateful my arm has a break because it's really sore. So I can handle being nauseous and exhausted today. I'm feeling kind of yucky. It means my arm gets a break. <sighs> I'll see you guys when something interesting happens. Hello everybody, there's an airplane over my head. It's the next day. I didn't film anything else yesterday because there was nothing else to film. I was just hanging out with family. And today we're gonna go to our cool little beach house. I'm very excited about it. And I need to get some more hats because I'm growing out these bangs, I think. And in the meantime, it's awkward. So I need to get more hats. We spent some time at the beach this morning. Lynn played on the playground with Eric and they ran around and chased birds and it was just beautiful. I love my hometown. You can just drive five minutes to a beautiful beach. <gasps> Lizard! You can just drive five minutes like a beautiful beach and there's a fun playground and there's no one there and it's totally safe and just wonderful. So anyway, we're gonna go get some lunch right now. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, we made it to our Hobbit beach house. Lynn, are you excited? Yeah! Should we go inside? Oh, I guess we're leaving. You gotta open the door for mama. Come inside and then we'll open the door for mama, okay? Look at this. Knock, knock. Up in the house. Oh, hello. This is so neat. Wow, so cool. So cool. Yeah. Eddie. Cool windows, like everything, the detail in this place is so awesome. Well, that's a cool couch. So this is where you enter, and right after you enter, there's these stairs that go down. We'll go down in a second. We've got a fireplace, a big TV. Mom. What? You're silly. <laughs> Look at this view. Are you kidding me? Oh, Come on. What? Mom. What? Okay, I'll come in here. What's in here? <gasps> wow, this and is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, this is so bizarre. Mama. It's a bronze bathtub. It's like so crazy. Is that a big toilet? Yeah. This is so bathtub. cool. Whoa, cool, Flynn. <gasps> That's the bathtub, man. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is wild. This is so fun. What'd you find? Yes, Everything, like even like this part, like the floor just changes to like these weird pebbles right here. <laughs> this is amazing. So cool. Hello. What a find. Like. I know, I can't believe it. This place is so cool. Literally right on the water. Like no joke. It looks like we're on a boat. Look at this. Are you kidding? So cool. I'm going back home. Okay. There's a little teapot on there. A little teapot, Mama. They got a little teapot. What? Show Mama. What'd you find? A little teapot. You found a little teapot? Whoa, what's in there? Wow, cool. What's in there, Flynn? I'll tell you what it doesn't have, love. A door. <laughs> you need a poop. You're gonna poop in harmony with whoever wants to hear. Once you come down the stairs on the bottom floor, this kitchen, living area, bedroom, but it's, the architecture is so cool. It like really is like so fun and hobbity, whatever that means. But like the door handles are all super cool. We have this beautiful couch, another fireplace, a little table, the kitchen area, it's this long bar Mama, kitchen. Yeah. Mom, what? Go back up here. You wanna go back up? I don't want to look at the Hey Dada! Dada! Where are you? I'm over here. Oh. <laughs> That's my trash this over here. Okay, cool. Go, come see this. <laughs> oh, there's light switches? <gasps> This 
place is super cool. Thanks for the suggestion, everyone, who said go to a beach place next. I never thought to go to a beach Airbnb because I grew up by the beach, so it just never occurred to me for some reason. But the boys are playing in the sand right now, right below me. Let's see if we can see them. Ready, okay. Whoa. That's so cool. <laughs> I have a question. Do you know where any big dump trucks are? Guys, um, exciting news here at the Hobbit House. Apparently there's a huge like beach toy chest and they opened it up and found a big dump truck. never know what is gonna trigger pregnancy nausea. For some reason, <laughs> that dumb truck made me so sick. I wish the last five minutes like dry heaving and gagging. I could literally just turn off the camera to go like gag over the toilet. I don't know why, I couldn't tell ya. Random things make me really nauseous and for some reason that specific dump truck, I can't even like talk about it. It made me nauseous. How weird is that? That's so weird. Has anyone else ever had that happen to them? Like I have a friend of mine who is pregnant right now and we're very similar in like our timeline of pregnancy. And she said that she like opened up her closet and some of her clothes made her want to throw up. Like just the, looking at our clothes. I've had colors make me want to throw up. I've had sounds, like I've listened to music and songs make me like super gaggy and nauseous. It's so weird. The most random things trigger it. And for some reason, that one truck that Flynn was so excited about made me sick. Oh God. We just dropped Flynn off at my parents and we're gonna spend the first night at this place, just us. And so we're gonna order food and pick it up. But I just want you guys to see how panicked and uncomfortable I get when I'm on the phone. I get really anxious with phone calls. So I have to call, I'm like very stressed with this. I'm calling a restaurant. Hi, um, I'd like to order um, some food for pickup. Okay, uh, just give me one moment. Thank you. Why did I suddenly forget how to talk? All right, thank you for calling. What's the name? Uh, my name is Colleen. Colleen? Yeah. All right, and what would you like? Um, can I please have some chips and guacamole and salsa? Yeah. And um, can I please have a chicken quesadilla? And um, the fajitas as well. Okay, and did you want, for the fajitas, did you want uh, chicken, steak, or shrimp? Um, chicken. Okay, all right, perfect, so we have a... Yes. All right, perfect. Oh, does anybody else get awkward with, I don't know why I get so anxious. I hate using the phone, I hate, Phone calls. I just get so anxious. I don't know why, but I'm like, my heart is pounding right now. Anyway, um, <laughs> Eric and I are gonna have a nice little date night tonight and have some Mexican food while listening to the waves on the beach in our little hobbit house. I'm very excited. Yeah, so I ordered the food. I'm very proud of myself and now we're gonna eat it. So, okay, bye. So there are so many details about this house and you'll hear Eric, I filmed him for a second, freaking out over how much he loves this house and all the cool details. Like this is so cool even, like yeah. what even is this on the ceiling? It's a little like hatch. It's so cool. But you can it's see that so from the cool. front entrance deck, but you see down in here. What? You can look inside when people are peeing? Yeah. Mm-hmm, that's gonna work. But the shower is super crazy. I'm about to take a shower in here and there's like weird, People. It looks like things I made in ceramics class, but they're built into the wall. Yeah, like, in the plaster. They're in the plaster. Like so, the, so bizarre. The level of, and like, maybe it was made by their kids, you know what I mean? Look how cool all this stuff is. Like, all the details in this place are so cool. Like, the floor, even, it's like, everything's so cool in here. So, 
We're trying to figure out the shower right now. That's what's happening because I want to shower because I'm tired. I want to go to bed. What do you think, Levy? This, I mean, like someone made this by hand, this stone sink. Mm -hmm. And then was like, I mean, hey guys, I made this stone sink by hand. Also, it weighs 5,000 pounds, so good luck getting it anywhere. Right. And the base is tree trunks. You're kidding me? This is fucking insane. I just keep noticing things that are so incredible about it. And all the brass and copper, it's so my jam. It's here recording. <laughs> Yo, I love this place. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> do a monologue. I can't do a monologue with your tunes. Oh! What? This is outfit number one. Do I look like your oh, your fart stinks? Stop. <laughs> look at my tummy. My goodness. Do I look like I have a tummy? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is cute, but like get out of here with this. Big dog girl. <laughs> Big thick <big> girly. <laughs> Boobies do good. Bratwurst doesn't Get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> this is simple, but Erica's making fun of me because I only have sweatshirts and hoodies that are my merch. So, this is not my merch. Mm -hmm. I'm just a white woman, a white woman's Instagram. This is not it. I like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, I love it. Also, like, <laughs> wait, 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 this is the most, like, Colina's pregnant outfit ever. Like, all I wear when I'm pregnant is stuff like this. You like? I love it, yeah. I think it's great. Is it comfy? It's super comfy. It feels like pajamas. I like the color. Uh huh. I just don't know what do you wear here. I think nothing. I think it's just like nothing. Side move at large. Next. This is so ugly. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's I like it. So not flattering. No, I like. It's like see through completely. Very not. No, I like it. That material. It's so bad. I'll never wear this. I know this material. I feel like I can. I, also like this, like what's with this pucker? It's like, you have a life? Pucker me timbers. I like it. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> no one likes this ever. It is very much like, oh, this woman is pregnant. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Eric. Oil <laughs> change du jour. <laughs> Eric insisted we buy this. Yeah, I don't know. I've been having a problem. Uh, I feel like I need to change your tires. I feel like I'm not getting enough torque when I rev the I engine. Can you get I under there and take a look at it? I feel like everything we bought, I look so pregnant. It might be a spark plug issue, but uh. Love, this is crazy. Talk to me as if you know how to fix a car right now. Oh, I'm so tired. So you work in a car repair shop. I just showed I, up I, I and I'm like saying. I'm a painter. I'm so a what was wrong house. with my car? I just got good pockets. Oh. Where would I wear this? Tell me where one would wear this. Some sort of simulation where you've come over to fix my sink. <laughs> Eric, and you was insistent, like, and you, you get, have to get this. Maybe you get, like, this. stuck under the sink where as you're fixing it. Where would I for real? Where would I wear this in real life? My dreams, man. <laughs> <laughs> your dreams. I love it. The shower was amazing, actually, which is shocking because there's no door. Usually when the shower doesn't have a door, like, you just get cold the whole time, but I was actually, like, the water pressure was amazing. It felt so good. You guys, the only time in the world, I'm realizing, I'm trying to find things that I like about pregnancy because I don't want to just like hate it. I'm trying to enjoy the experience. I mean, I love obviously that I can be pregnant. I'm very grateful for that. I think it's so cool. I love showers when I'm pregnant and it's the only time in my life I've ever liked showers. Like my whole life, I hate showering, I hate baths, like I hate cleaning <laughs> my body. I just don't like it and I could stand in a shower for hours when I'm pregnant. That's how I was with Flynn and that's how I feel this time too. I'm just like, I can just stand here forever. It feels so good. Um, I think just because my body hurts and aches and it just like makes me feel better. Anyway, um, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna edit this. And tomorrow we're gonna go do some fun stuff. We might go to the zoo with the family, have some beach time. Yeah, we're just having a blast. Um, but I'm tired, so I'm gonna go. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. You can relax, that's the name of our podcast.